Ken Roseman. Thank you so much, Ken. He says, Rick, so my wife and I were watching Entertainment Tonight after the CBS Evening News the other night, and there's a short clip of Dr. Phil interviewing Sinead O'Connor. My wife, who cannot believe how faithfully I watch every one of your vlogs, exclaimed, Dr. Phil has a Corvette logo on his forehead. He goes, so I backed up the DVR, and sure enough, it looks like a C7 logo on his forehead. Rick, I've attached a screenshot I grabbed off the internet. I'm sure you can have some fun, and we are superimposing a C7 logo there. Ken goes on to say, he goes, perhaps Dr. Phil was giving out a subliminal message for everyone to go out and buy a Corvette. <laughs> he says it was sort of like those old hot dog commercials that were so quick, you didn't know what you saw, but in the middle of the drive-in movie, all of a sudden, you were hungry for a hot dog. <laughs> it's intermission time, folks, so hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, now back to this Dr. Phil forehead thing. Now take a look at his forehead. Do you see it right there? It's embossed. It's a Corvette logo. I don't care any way you look at it. It's a Corvette logo right there on his head. Here, let me put a little red ring around it. All right, do you see it a little bit better? Now there it is with the red ring. Now let's superimpose the C7 Corvette logo over Dr. Phil's forehead. <laughs> There's a Corvette logo in that head. I don't care what you say. Now this shot you're looking at is my ceiling and you're like, okay, what are we looking for there? We're looking for yet another Corvette logo, all right? And I, and I was, I was just laying there and the boys start laughing and they go, dad, what are you doing? I said, hurry up, give me my phone. So I'm laying there, I'm zooming, trying to take a picture of this. I'm thinking this would be great for the vlog. <laughs> for whatever reason, I don't know, other than it's interesting and something to talk about <laughs> and it's Corvette related. <laughs> hey, do you have a Corvette logo splattered in your, <laughs> in your ceiling? Let me take the, and I took the picture, I had to flip it a little bit. So I flip it, I'll give you a hint. It's a C7 Cross Flags logo. It's in the upper left-hand corner. Let's put a little circle around it. Aha! Aha! Yes! Now let's superimpose the emblem over top of what I saw in the, in the ceiling. See? Do you see it now? Yeah! There it is! <laughs> so I'm, lay I'm laying on the floor of the hallway and I see the Corvette logo. Now what does that mean? Absolutely nothing. You're all gonna, you're all, hey, you will all go home tonight. You'll be laying in bed. You look up at your ceiling. Honey, I think I see one. Rick's right there. Look at, there's Corvette logo right. No, 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 there's one right there. No, that's a C5 logo. <laughs> All right, the next one's a little bit of a stretch, but it's neat how he he drew in the correlation of another object into Corvette. So it's not a Corvette emblem, but Tom in Texas, nice job. The little swoosh in the NASA logo looks like the outer perimeter light, the headlight on the C8 Corvette. So Tom, nice job on that. Thanks for watching, and thank you for submitting that. All right, now this is where it starts to get good. We got five from this guy, Dave. Thank you so much for watching the channel and sending in your stuff. Actually, one of the best ones is from Dave. But the first one, uh, it was a little tough for me. I started looking at this wallpaper thing. And I was looking at the white little whooshes on there and the wallpaper. And all of a sudden, I tilted my head sideways and right up there in the leaves, not one, not two, not three, but four. Yes, there they are, four Corvette emblems. All right, and then Dave sent in a picture of this tile and this was kind of tough for a second. I'm usually pretty good at this stuff, but I'm looking at it and then, can you guys see it? There, I'll give you a second to look at it. I'm only gonna give you a second because I'm gonna show you where it is anyways. And yeah, there it is. I think that's what he was referring to is what he saw in the tile pattern that we referred to in a previous vlog, finding the Corvette emblem in odd places around your office and around your home. <laughs> Not that I needed a picture of your neck or somebody's neck or this might be a picture on a wall. I'm not sure. That's a shirt. That's the V-neck in a shirt. Yes, that's a Corvette emblem. I didn't even bother putting a logo over top of it because it, it looks like a logo. All right, the next one we got a letter. This is cute. And uh, <laughs> again, the participation from you guys is just absolutely incredible. So Steve sent us a letter and a couple of pictures. He says, Rick, the first one is depicting the Reno Air Races Air Show. Just to the left of Miss America B-51 Mustang, the Skyriders are completing their smoke show. 
It kind of, I mean, it kind of looks like a C7 emblem. I guess it could be Bugs Bunny, too. <laughs> now, the next painting is of the Air Ops on the USS Lexington in the mid-1930s. I was actually on that ship at Corpus Christi for the Vets and Jets on the Lexington. There's a close-up of one of the deckhands with the wrinkle in his pants just to the left of his knee that could be interpreted as a C7 emblem. So I looked at it, looked at it, and I'm like, okay, is this what you're talking about? Because actually what I saw was on the guy's right knee, if you tilted your head to the side, that looked like a C7 emblem. Steve goes on to say, he says, Rick, I'm sorry, I know it's a stretch. He goes, but that's the best that I could come up with. Steve, I love it, man. Thank you so much for sending those in. And I was hoping somebody would capture this, you know, when the temperature changes and you get that condensation on your hood and the logo on the hood liner on the inside of the hood, it shows on the outside of the hood like this one from Wayne. Wayne, nice capture, man. I actually had one of the hopper myself on a yellow Corvette, so there you go. Look at it, there it is, the Corvette logo on a C7 and the condensation, a little red ring around it. There it is, Corvette logos in odd places. Of course, Corvette logo on a Corvette is not really an odd place. Okay, here's one for you. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Really had a lot of fun with this. Sal sent me this picture, and I'm gonna show you the picture in just a second, still looking at the yellow car. But you know sometimes people will carve designs in their hair. This guy, here you go, tattooed his head. <laughs> Shaved his head first, obviously, and then tattooed his head. And Sal says, hey, you know, uh, how about a little shout out for the Legends Barber Company in Danbury, Connecticut? Well, there you go, and that's a beautiful logo as long as you keep your head shaved. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, and now the last one, who I think is the best one, again, comes from Dave, and found this right there that he probably looks at every single day. We brought it to your attention to look for Corvette logos in odd places. How about this in the oak grain of his kitchen cabinets? A little red ring around that. Now you see it. How about that? Cor yeah, that's a Corvette logo in his kitchen cabinet. Put a logo over top of it. Now it makes a little more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, go back there, see there's the ring. There's the logo. <laughs>